Hello. Marhaba. I'm Oscar. And I'm Dan. And today we are in Kuwait. Hi you guys, we made it to our hotel in Kuwait. We're staying at the Sedra residence, which was quite cheap, 29 Kuwait dollars per night. We didn't want to stay in Airbnb here because they didn't really have any good options, but wait for Bahrain, our next destination, and you're gonna see some better ones. This is country what? Country 53, I think. Yes. Woo! So come have a look. This we have a little kitchen, which is nice. Uh, which we all already trashed, by the way, but <laughs> The best. <laughs> the best part of all is the view. seen this on any notes anywhere look they do it by fractions oh, one quarter yeah whoa whoa va a beach i want to dip my feet in we'll do it after after the pizza yeah but we might get sandy feet so we love middle eastern food we just love vegan pizza a little bit more so that's why we're going to blaze pizza the first thing we do in kuwait <laughs> Oh, such cool buildings. Also good to know, we realized when we were coming here, uh, the taxis from the airport were so expensive. So we were worried that all the other taxis would be expensive because uh, we can't get Kareem on our phone for some reason, which is like the Uber of the Middle East. But apparently most of the taxis have meters and it was super cheap. The meter rate started at like 0 0.3. So no need to worry about that. Found a good table with an amazing view. <laughs> Rethink the way you eat pizza. I don't know why this just makes me feel so happy, especially after Rwanda. I feel like junk food. <laughs> Not only that it's junk food, but it feels like it's so vegan friendly and also it kind of feels like coming home in a way mm -hmm. after being like it's a very place comfortable. We're so unfamiliar yeah. with. Oh. Let's do this. It's so good. Feel the water. The time has come. It looks so clear. So uh, we're very curious. Maybe we'll go swimming tomorrow. How does it feel? It's not the warmest. <laughs> no, it's not warm at all. But it's, it's not cold. like a Swedish lake in the winter. So let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> I think we could swim. We're quite resilient. I, I really can't get over how much it feels like we're coming home kind of to like something that's so familiar. It's funny because we've felt this way before like what was it last year when we've been in Asia for a real long time we came to Australia and we came oh, to Perth yeah. and it just felt like we just landed back home in Sweden just because relatively it felt like no similar home, so. and even though Kuwait is uh, like even though it's quite different it doesn't quite feel as different as like Qatar. I think it's very westernized. It seems very westernized yeah. at least. Okay, we got both very interesting names. So you know with me they always spell the K wrong, right? They always want to go to C but the first time they put the first before. letter wrong. Welcome to Kuwait Towers, the most famous monument in Kuwait City. And the only thing pretty much we knew before we came here. <laughs> but they're beautiful, so...
Finally made it to the Grand Mosque, right around the corner. In every country we go, we always feel like home when we see the Kia commercials. What? <laughs> Okay, so this is supposedly the Grand Mosque of Kuwait. One thing to know about us is that since we travel all the time, we're very bad at planning ahead for the next place. So we really, as I said, only knew the towers. And then we saw on Google Maps, we're like, oh, Grand Mosque, that's usually something to see. But really, there isn't much to see. Every side is like blocked or it's very hard to like, maybe it's cool on the inside, but I think we're here too late to actually go in. So now we're just out here. We walked for like an hour to get here because we also like walking. Yeah, it's not quite the same level as you have in like Muscat or Abu Dhabi. The walk was really nice though, so. Yeah, the walk was really nice. Well, give him that. So here are the fish, the fresh fish coming in. The cats seem to be loving it. Okay, so we made it to one of the most popular Middle Eastern restaurants in all of Kuwait. It's called Mez Al Ghanim. It's a Lebanese restaurant. They have one of the, these are my favorite drinks in the whole world, lemon mint. Oh my God. It's to die for. And we have olives. How can you go wrong with olives? We have some like nachos. Oh no. <laughs> so it's Arabic bread and this is toasted Arabic bread. So basically it's just like Arabic bread. Arabic nachos. nachos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Look at this. So we have a, uh, what is this? Date and avocado salad. Looks so good. Yummy. With a molasses dressing. Yes. Uh, this is uh, eggplant moussaka. Looks divine. And then we have <laughs> the patouche salad. So this is hummus beiruti. Fresh Arabic bread. Bon appetit. Another day of walking in the beautiful weather. We are out. We're on our way to breakfast. More hummus today. Uh, and uh, yeah, just walking, talking, walking, talking. That's what Oscar and I do. Look at all these Gulf state flags. And this, I think, is where we're eating. Okay, here it is. Ta -da. And leave us a comment below if you know which each of these flags is. Good luck. So this is one of the most famous restaurants in all of Kuwait. So we're very excited to try the food now. And we just got some I don't know, side dishes in. So the food is served uh, and it's beautiful. Yes, so this is fatouche salad again, hummus, uh, grape leaves. Vine leaves? Yeah, 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 yeah. they call them grape leaves here. Mutabel, which we're unsure if uh, what's in it exactly, actually. Uh, fatouche, no wait, tabula and baba ganoush. We've been having breakfast very late. Uh, as always happens pretty much when we're traveling. The food is too good to put into words. I'm internally crying right now. These vine leaves are Oh my god, I wish it, like you could taste them through the screen. And the hummus is so perfect. Can you tell who's more excited about it? I wish you were all here. And more lemon mint. Oh my god. This is Daniel's favorite drink in the world. Yesterday's dinner was good, but today's lunch, if you had to choose one of them, definitely go where we had lunch today. It's freed for the wood. Fried. Oh yeah, that's what it was called. Fridge. <laughs> fridge. Like a fridge, but like a fridge. It's like how you'd say a fridge in Singaporean. Did you put <laughs> it in the fridge? You mean it's English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're now in the neighborhood called Salmia. It's very close to where we're staying. 
this feels much more like local and kind of traditional modern Middle East, like kind of the same as uh, Amman, Jordan, but a bit more modern and then similar to some parts of Muscat Oman. So this is more like the real modern Middle East to us. So if you're craving like something a little bit more authentic than Dubai or Doha, this is kind of the things you'll see, I guess. So update, we've been walking and walking and it's freezing because there's some weird wind from Iran that takes Kuwait apparently, but we're at the beach! Before coming here, I asked you what we should do. I did some research on which neighborhood to stay in in Kuwait and everyone kept telling me or every website said that you should stay in Salmiya because Kuwait City has nothing to offer and anything there is is in, is in this area or whatever. Um, turns out we don't really agree with that. No, I mean we just walked around the whole thing and it's cold and we're just like, okay, we're just aimlessly walking. But now we finally got to an amazing viewpoint, which I wish we did. We would have just come to this side of Samia straight away. But uh, you know how Oscar said earlier that lemon mint is my favorite beverage? That's a lie. After this, we're gonna go get my favorite beverage. Okay, I'm trying to zoom. I couldn't. Bubble tea. Finally found the place to be in Sunday. Reunited after a month and a half. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way through guys. We really appreciate and love you. You can check out our other videos in the cards now. And lastly, remember the holy trinity of Oscar and Dan. Hit the like button, subscribe for future videos, and don't forget to live life full time.